Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. Today we're going to take a look at a, an exercise we do in all of our classes that the students find quite helpful and you could use this in the field. And it's how to find a rogue DHCP server using Wireshark. So what we're going to do here is uh, just review a little bit of this uh, this example and the scenario is quite simple. I'm at my desk minding my own business, do 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 do, surfing the internet, checking my mail. Then I get a call that some people can't get on the internet or print to the network printer. So here's what we do. We start Wireshark with no capture filter so we can get everything. Then we go to the command prompt and we issue the IP config release which is obviously a Windows command and IP config renew and get a new IP address. We save the trace file as find the DHCP server.pcap and we have to keep in mind the basic DHCP four-step process which is discover, offer, request, and acknowledge or good old Dora. Bonus question, what is the IP address of a legitimate DHCP server? And the hint is the answer is in the story, not the packets. So let's jump into the trace. Here we are, we've got everything and looking at us. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is type DHCP for display filter. And as you see, the background has now gone salmon. It's not pink, it's salmon. And that's not gonna work for you. So we need to do a boot P filter because that is the protocol DHCP uses. And here we are. So we can see what we've done. And now we have to try to figure out which packets are from a server. Well, if you remember Dora discovers from a client, offers from the server, and it just goes back and forth, request the client, offer the server, and so on and so on. So what we can do now is find an offer packet, and we can use this as our template for our display filter. So view, packet details, bootstrap protocol, and if we move down, you'll find a DHCP message type offer. So if I was to right click on that, apply as filter, and select it. Now you'll see that we have a display filter of boot p period option period dhcp double equals and two and we see all the offer packets. Well if you had a real environment and a lot of dhcp packets it might be hard to try to figure out the IP addresses of the server. So we're going to take a step further. Go to statistics and endpoints. When we do that, let me just drag this guy down, we see our endpoint report of everything. We'll go to the IP tab of everything and if we click on limit to display filter we'll only see the IP addresses that correlate to our display filter. Right here is the current display filter that we're using. So now we can see there's three unicast or IP addresses and one broadcast. So obviously these three IP addresses are the DHCP servers that are rogue. But the bonus question was, which IP address is the actual legitimate server? And I had said that the answer is not in the packets. The answer is actually in the story. So if I was to go back to my boot P filter, and we remember the story, I was working fine, and then I released my IP address and then renewed it. Well, that being the case, if you look at the release packet right here at the top, that's me, and that is a unicast IP address of my legitimate DHCP server because I was working just fine. And then I went through the discovery process and so on and so on and so on. So the legitimate server is 1044.10.1. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.